Hello everyone, welcome to TechTrade.com. In this video, we will be performing some SQL operations on a database. So the database will be TechTrade underscore IMDB, which I have already given to you. You can download it uh, under the lecture where we discussed how to download database, upload database on your local server. Okay, so and maybe I'll upload in this lecture also. So you can download the database tector underscore IMDB and import it to your local SQL server. So once you are done with downloading and uploading this uh, database to your server, now we need to understand what this database actually is like, what are the tables inside, what are the attributes for each table or schema. So to understand that I have a database design diagram here. So let's see that. So this is Tector underscore IMDB database and this is the <coughs> internal architecture. We have here 13 tables, 13 tables, okay. And it is basically storing the information regarding the Bollywood movies, okay, from IMDB database, okay. So it has one table which is movies, you can see here. And this movie table stores MID which is key for this table then title that is name of the movie then year in which this movie was released and the rating so this rating is IMDB rating which is like uh, gathered from user and this is votes how many users have voted for this particular movie okay so these information are kept in this movie table so person is the next table in which person's information are stored for example, this is PID, person ID, then name, date of birth and gender. This person table will store the information about the cast of the movie or the director of the movie or producer of the movie. Okay, So all the names or the person information will be stored here and whenever required we will be referring it. For example, you can see uh, we have if uh, we have this M underscore director which is basically relation table okay so it is establishing relation between movie and director similarly we have M underscore cast which is also again a relation table this is also table for relation establishing relation this establish relation between movie and cast okay and cast again is a person Similarly, we have M underscore producer, which is relation table and it is establishing relation between movie and producer. Fine. Now we have another table informative table, uh, which stores information that is country. So in country, we have just country name and country ID. Now you can see this table is again a relation table. This is entity. Okay. This is again entity. This is entity. Fine. So this, this table is establishing relation between country and the movie. Fine. Similarly, we have language, we have location, all these things. Fine. So this is the overall structure or uh, design which we will be using on which we will be performing SQL queries through the entire SQL course. Okay. So let's see our query now. The first query is get the title of movie released in 2010. Okay. Which was which is which has rating greater than seven. Okay, so the condition is that the movie should have been released in two thousand ten and it should have a rating greater than seven. Okay, and this is title. So we have to display title. So this is first query. The next one is get the name, name. Okay, it's not title. Get the name and director's name, right, of the movie released in two thousand ten having rating. So for the same thing, for the same, I mean the query is same, the extension is that it is also asking to, to list down the name of directors. Here you can see that if we have to list down the name of directors with the name of movie, then of course we have to use this movie table. We have to use this relationship between movie and director. Then we have to use this person because director's name we can find out from this person table only right so using three these three tables we will be able to find out the information of director for a movie right so let's write down the query one by one and run it on the terminal here i am logged into mysql server and 
we have I mean I'm already inside the Tector underscore IMDB database so how to do these things we have already discussed now let's work on the query which we have to write so the first one is we have to list down you can see the tables are listed here so we have to list down the name of or title of the movies which was released in 2010 so what I'll do select select title from movie where year equal to 2010 and rating is greater than 7 right so we get the list of movies now you can see that this year we have provided as character right but if you notice in movie you can see this year is here you can see this is what in teaser right so well SQL is smart enough that although I'm providing character he knows that I want to as I'm trying to equate it with uh, integer field so it will do that but we should provide this 2010 without this code okay so this will be the correct query fine we are getting the same result anyway okay so this was the first query now second is it is saying that get the name and director name right we have to display name and director name for a movie in the same case that is it has it should have rating greater than 7 and it was released in 2010 so to do that what we will do so in the same query we will do some modification so it was just title right now we need to include so you know I would suggest to write these kind of queries I mean of course this is a cross product among three tables okay but I would suggest to write these kind of queries using a progressive approach so what you should do is something like this so first of all what I would do using these two tables movies and director I'll try to list down the title of movie okay and director ID that is PID okay PID fine so movie and PID for the same condition that is for uh, the movie which was released in 2010 and having rating greater than 7 fine once we have title and person ID listed now what we will do using this person ID we will fetch the name fine so first let's list down title and PID so to list down PID we will have to include PID PID from movie and now we have another table to include include that is this M underscore director M underscore director okay where year equal to this 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 these things are fine now to perform cross product over condition we will have to give that this ID this movie ID okay this is uh, sorry this movie ID okay should be equal to this movie ID right fine so we will write we will write and these are tables right so this is movie dot mid equal to this m underscore director dot mid okay so then here it will compare that for I have to list down uh, the person ID only for the movies only for the mm, directors for whom this this condition is satisfied okay fine so well now you can see you have title of the movies and this PID person ID fine so now first first step we have done now what we have to do is instead of PID we have to fetch name of the person so again what we will do 
now we will also include we were using two tables that is this movie movie and director okay now what we will do is we will include another table that is person person fine and instead of PID what we will do we will display name see what we are doing we are including this table this table and now we will list down the name based on this PID right fine so title and name from movie m director and person where all these condition has to be there now another condition we will include which is which is this m director dot pid i mean this pid is what director's pid right so m director dot p id is equal to p e r s person dot p i d okay so now this will perform the cross product over the table i mean this table director and person and the condition will be that p i d should be equal for them okay so enter now see you can see so these are the movies name of movies and these are the director's name right for example for my name is Khan the director is Karan Jawar okay okay so our second query is done now let's do some in, uh, improvement so the improvement is that I want this this is title right this is not making any sense I mean it can be more meaningful if we can say that this is movies name and this name if we can say that this is director's name okay so that is called aliasing so you can see this is our previous query and now we will do a simple modification here and what we will do is we will simply add aliasing for title and we will say display title as name of movie okay as movie I'll just write movie and then this name this name display as directors director as director fine so what it will do in this table in our previous table it will rename these columns okay and what it will do is it will just write see so now we can say this is movie and this is director fine so this is our second query and that's all fine so it was pretty easy now you should try uh, you know according to your interest like if you want to list down the movies directed by Karan Johar and something like this I mean you can keep trying and you can play with SQL now okay so now in the next lecture we will try to understand more queries and we'll try to understand how we can use sub queries okay or nested queries to improve or to write complex queries so see you in the next lecture thanks for watching if you like this video and you want us to create more such videos please don't hesitate to like share and subscribe to TechTut.